morning so as you may guess from the title and you might be able to hear it behind me we have a new car and it's a two i think it's a 2000 wrx subaru impressa state it's quite a nice one it's got a couple of little marks on the body wheels could do a refurbing um i got mot boxed in 10 minutes so we'll whip that down there now uh, I think I might try and find a black interior because the seats are a bit discoloured. But uh, yeah, I'm going to drive it for the first time now. And, uh, see what I think. Get back there. And we're back. So we now have an MOT. I've just taxed it. It's insured. This is fully road legal. Uh, it needs a couple of things. We need to check out which we'll come to in due course uh tires aren't too bad bodywork you could do with a paint really so what i'm going to do is prep it and take it into work the couple of little bits like this dent here uh, a couple of little, little rusty scuffy bits you're not too concerned wheels could do with a refurb but we'll leave easy refurb so again not too concerned about that it's been standing for a couple of months. It passed the MOT, but I'm gonna go through the, the brakes. You can see that back one's a bit scuffed up and manky. Maybe paint calipers, but not a ridiculous color. Something looks factory, maybe black, something like that. Um, Yeah, I drove it down here, which was like a mile, but they weren't much petrol in it. So I haven't really had the full, on it's stuff like there's a bit of water in our light. I haven't really had the experience, so um, I've just done all the paperwork now, set up a couple of cameras, go and get some petrol. Uh, I'll do open the petrol. Oh, okay, petrol flaps here, that's fine. See the interior and try and find a black leather interior. It's only really the driver's seat. It might clean up a bit. Uh, the rest isn't too bad. Really like the doors, the fact they're frameless. I think that's cool. Very night rider. Um, State so I can move stuff around if I need to. You see, I'm not going to be putting engines and things in it, but some tools and stuff. Happy days. Uh, yeah, I'll try and find some new. Hit up the Facebook uh, Impreza group. See if anyone's got an interior. If not, I'm going to be getting into doing some trimming. Or someone I know is going to be getting into doing some trimming. So, yeah, I've got to set up a dash cam. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Cosmetics hasn't been his. He, he kept it clean, but he's got a 
I say no, stick it there, stick it hard if I can make it down the workshop and I want to try and resolve that. Hey, we have a stereo. get copyright claimed. Right, to first stereo. It's only I haven't got a cage for it, so I'm just gonna wedge it in there for the minute until I get a better one. Uh hopefully the front brake should have cooled down a bit by now. Oh it's one of the ones it does have, isn't it? Okay. Yeah I'll maybe get something with an three kit built into it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's got a cup holder. And oh, it's got two cup holders. Oh, that's nice. Big cup holder too. Right, let's have a look at these brakes. Embarrassingly, I bought this and didn't even open the bonnet. It actually seems in better condition than the other one that we got. Well, I ain't that fussed on a K&N conversion. Okay, so we need an A box. Because nothing's going through that filter, and possibly why it's got so much wastegate chatter. It's got a Bailey dump valve and a battery and a plastic bag. Quite sure why that is. Oh, quite a trick. Alloy radiator, which I don't think is standard. Oh, I've got it about how much petrol I put on the gauge. That was 20 litres, and it's gone between quarter and a half. Uh, yeah, I think they've got a stereo in there. Dig that out now. Keep us going for a minute. Uh, oh, is he giving me a lock and wheel? Okay. say the boot needs a good slam otherwise it doesn't close but yeah there's a couple of look down this you don't really come out on camera but there's a dent there dent there what I could do with really is full paint obviously by the roof and a couple of other bits so I don't know we'll um, wheels are gonna get refurbed so I might well get it painted we can get it done reasonably quickly. Right, we'll knock it off, let it cool down, and have a look at the brakes, put a stereo in it. Cool, project car I can actually drive. Crazy. Okay, so they were quite seized, the brakes. Um, primarily, uh, this piston and these two pistons so what I've done is cleaned all the took the slide uh, the pins out only do one take one part the pads are really low but it's Saturday afternoon so I can't get any just at this minute um, and basically use a pick to pull the dust shield up spray WD-40 underneath it work the piston in and out, spray WD-40, work the piston out, keep doing that until all of them are free. 
Um, I've just stamped heavily on the brakes and other than grinding because this pad is almost completely gone. We'll take that. So the disc is alright, the up is alright, I just need a set of pads. So I'm going to quickly do the other side and then we should be good. So I just found this in the boot when I was looking for the lock and wheel neck key, which is the full, I think it's full, there might not be much else to go in there. Subaru toolkit in the pouch. This is where I'm going to put the lock and wheel neck key. I do back discs and pads as well. Yeah, nice little touch. Got the Subaru boot, rubber boot floor. I'm always nervous someone's going to creep up on me when I'm doing this and see me talking to myself. Actually, they wouldn't creep up on me, they'd bugger off because they'd wonder who that mental person was. Right, I'll take it up, the, up and down the road a little bit, see how we're doing, and then check the other wheel. I'll do for now. 